If you want to find out how I food prep, then stick around. It's coming up. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow a whole food, plant-based, no oil, gluten-free diet. So if that interests you, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, be sure to follow me on Instagram, and also take a look at the links below in the description box. There you will find links to my newsletter, my e-guide, my Facebook group, and my brand new online course. So today I'm going to be showing you how I meal prep on Sundays. Now I work Monday through Friday, so Sunday is the most convenient day for me. So you just want to pick the day that's before your work week, whatever day that may fall on. I don't spend a lot of time doing it, um, maybe an hour or two, and it just goes real quick. So I'm going to show you the basic things that I make every Sunday so I have options during the week. And this will at least get me through to like Wednesday. And I'll be showing you the starches I prep, I'll be showing you the veggies that I prep, and also the sauces that I'm going to make for the week. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with my starches because they usually take the longest. And I've got some Japanese sweet potatoes. These are my favorite. And I like to cut them in quarters. That way they cook a little faster. So I always take off these little ends. And I'll cut them in half and then half again. I just place them on my lined baking sheet. I have the oven preheated to 400 and these will probably take about 45 minutes. And then I can use these during the week if I want to put them in a salad, if I just want to eat them with some cheese sauce, or if I want to put them in the air fryer for some, you know, sweet potato fries. They're also great for just a snack. All right, in they go for about 45 minutes. Next, I'm going to put my Yukon Gold potatoes into my Instant Pot. This is such a quick way to make potatoes. And then I can use these during the week for fries or if I just want to eat it with some broccoli. Um, you can always make some you know, mashed potatoes with these as well, just heating them up and mashing them with a little soy milk. So a lot of uses for these and it just makes it so convenient to have these all here. Now a little hack, if you want this to come up to pressure faster, I put some boiling water in the bottom of my Instant Pot. Just about an inch or so. And then I will put my steamer basket in and all my potatoes. Now these will go in to my Instant Pot on manual for about, oh, 15 minutes, and then just let them naturally release. Um, or you can do a quick release. It just depends on how fast you wanna eat your potatoes. So in they go. And then you just wanna make sure this is on sealing. Otherwise, it will take forever for it to come up to pressure. And like I said, we'll put these on for about 15 minutes. Next up, I'm going to make some rice. This is my old beat up rice cooker that I've had for, I don't know, 30 years, but works great. You can also do your rice in the Instant Pot as well. But this way I can have my potatoes in the Instant Pot, my sweet potatoes in the oven, and then my rice cooking in my rice cooker. So I've got three things going at once and it took me like no time at all. So I've got a cup of white rice, one cup of white rice. You could use brown rice, whatever you want. And then lately I've been adding in a quarter cup of quinoa. This is just like the different colored quinoa from Trader Joe's. You wanna make sure you rinse your quinoa real well cause it, it'll get like a weird taste to it. I just like to rinse it well under cool water. So let's put this in here. So I've got one and a quarter cup of the rice and the quinoa. So we need double water. So I've got two and a half cups of water. I do the same trick here. I, I heat up the water first. This just kind of cuts down on the cooking time. I like to give it a stir. Okay, I'm gonna go pop this in my rice cooker and then we're moving on. Now I'm gonna show you how I make my cheese sauce. 
Now I make my cheese sauce several different ways. Sometimes I use just potato and carrot. Sometimes I just use potato and cauliflower. Sometimes I'll use cauliflower and butternut squash. So there's many different ways that you can make cheese sauce. Just make the one that suits your fancy and what you have. So I've got some cauliflower that really needs to get used up. So I'm just throwing this in. Got a pan here. I use a Yukon Gold potato. That way I don't have to peel it. And I don't peel my carrot either. So we covered it with some water and then we're just going to boil it till it's fork tender which is about 15 minutes. Next we're going to steam up some broccoli. I like to buy these broccoli florets from Costco. This is about three pounds so it's a nice amount. And I'm just going to use my little steamer here. I've got some water in the bottom. And I'm going to cut these into little smaller pieces so I can fit more in my steamer. Now you can see I've got all the stuff going at the same time, so it really doesn't take that long. Now you can choose whatever veggie you like. I'm, I'm really fond of broccoli, so that's my go-to. But if you like zucchini or whatever, green beans, whatever you like, then that's going to be your, your green. If you want to do different veggies, that's fine. But I just kind of do a basic food prep just so it's quick and I'm in and out. Because I don't know about you, but I am a busy gal and I don't want to spend all day in the kitchen. But doing this for an hour or two, I mean, it's usually not even two hours. It's like an hour and a half maybe. And you can do other things while everything's going, you know, go do your laundry, go check your emails, whatever. It's not going to take up your whole day and you can do other things. All right, so that looks pretty good. And I'll throw this in the microwave for six or seven minutes. And then when I come home from work, I've got some options. All right, I'm going to pop this in the microwave. So our potatoes, cauliflower, and carrots are done. And I'm just going to scoop these out. So this is how we do the cheese sauce. Now you're going to reserve this cooking water. I took a cup off, but I want to have more just in case I want it thinner. Now this particular cheese sauce I'm making today does not have nuts in it. Uh, sometimes I use cashews, sometimes I use cashew powder. These cheese sauces are kind of a combination of plentiful kiki, a broccoli mum, I mean high carb hana. So I just kind of do my own thing. It's kind of a compilation of mine, theirs, ours, everybody's. Okay, so I've got the veggies in there. I'm going to add in my spices, which is garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. I've got some nutritional yeast, four or five tablespoons. And the salt, onion powder, garlic powder is a teaspoon each. Then I've got a tablespoon of lemon juice. I've got a quarter cup of soy milk, so this will help make it creamy. And then I've got a cup of the cooking water. I'm going to go blend this up, and if I need more water, I've got that reserved cooking water. All right, so here you go. And then you just pour it in a glass jar. then this will be great on my potatoes, on my rice, on my veggies. So it's a great option to have. Now I'm going to show you how I make the salad dressing that I'm going to have for the week. Okay, my sweet potatoes are done. I love when they start oozing. Mmm, yummy. You want to just make sure they're soft. And the Yukon Golds are done as well. All right, so this Caesar dressing is Dr. Goldner's recipe, Dr. Brooke Goldner. 
as you know, or maybe you don't know, I've been doing her green smoothie protocol or her hyper nourishment for the past, I think it's eight weeks now and loving it. So this is her dressing, one cup of raw cashews. So she actually uses almonds, but I like cashews better, but you can use almonds. I mean, it's delicious with almonds too, but I just prefer cashews. Then I've got some nutritional yeast, some coconut aminos. You can use liquid aminos, some garlic, lemon juice, a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one cup of water, and we blend. Now you're gonna need a high-speed blender. If you don't have a high-speed blender, then I would soak your cashews uh, for in warm water for an hour or so. All right, let's go blend this up. And look at that, delicious Caesar dressing. And then I just put it in a glass jar. And I've got this delicious dressing for the rest of the week. All right, I've got one more thing I'm gonna make, so let's get to it. So the last thing I'm gonna do is make some tofu. I started pressing it when I put the sweet potatoes in, so it's been a little over an hour. But pressing it for 30 minutes would be sufficient. All right, now I'm just gonna cube this up. throw it all into a bowl here separating them and this is how I always make my tofu it's so easy now we're just going to season it up with some onion powder garlic salt smoked paprika And no specific amounts, just, you know, what your heart tells you to do. And this is optional, but I like to put some nutritional yeast on there. Well, it's not optional for me. It gives it a nice little crispy coating. Then you just take it and you just start flipping, flipping it around in the bowl till it's all coated. And then if you feel like you need some more of a certain spice, then go for it. All right, I'm going to throw this in the air fryer. 15 minutes at 400, and I'll shake the basket halfway through. Well, here is the haul. This is what I came up with. It was about an hour and 45 minutes. So I've got my rice with a little bit of quinoa in there. These are great for Buddha bowls or um, burrito bowls. You could use this um, as your 50-50, the starch on the other side of your plate. Sweet potatoes, you can just heat them up. You can put them in the air fryer, and these are great snacks as well. I've got my Yukon Golds that came out perfect. I can use these for fries. I can heat them up and, you know, cube them up with some cheese sauce. Perfect. And then my tofu came out nice and crispy, and um, it will lose its crispness. So what I do is I just throw it in the air fryer for two or three minutes, and it comes right back up to life. And then my broccoli, my cheese sauce, and my Caesar dressing. Now, of course, I will have lots of fresh fruit and I will have my salads. So, but this is what I make every Sunday at least. This is the minimum I make, so I'm good for next week. If I want to do more, I can. Maybe I might want to make a soup or some kind of a casserole. So I can do that as well. But what I want you to get out of it is that just do this. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. You don't have to make all your meals for the whole week, all your breakfast, lunch, dinner. Just have some staples on hand. Make sure you have frozen veggies in your freezer and just make sure that you make this a habit and it doesn't take that much time at all and it will just make your week so much easier. And then on Wednesday or Thursday, you can make a few more things. Maybe just throw your potatoes in the microwave and get those done. It doesn't have to be a big deal. 
and this is the best way to be consistent so you lose weight, you get healthy, and then your week isn't so hectic. So if you like this video, if you found value in it, if it helped you in any way, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm so close to 25,000 subscribers. I'd love for you to join the family here. Be sure to check out the links below for my e-guide, for my newsletter, my Facebook group, and my plant-based course, which will help you to lose weight and to get healthy. And there's a lot more tips in there besides the food prep. I've got everything from nutrition to what to do when you are going to someone's house for dinner or you're going out to dinner just the things that you need to know, the tools to equip you to be successful. If you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with food prep, and that way I know you've made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. Remember that all my meals are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. And remember, vegan do it! Till next time, thank you.